you know, communication is more than words. You know, there's a reason I can go and turn on music that's, I, I love like Nusrat Fatah Ali Khan, amazing vocalist, man. I think he's from Pakistan. I mean, his singing is so beautiful and he's so connected to some power in the universe. And I don't know what he's saying, but I can feel what he's saying. You know, and I think I approach music production, especially from very raw, 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 raw point. And that's what I like to pull from. I mean, this stuff, because these are feelings and these are vibrations out here. I don't, music to me is a note. Anybody can play a note. Anybody can learn any song, but who's behind that note? I want to know who's behind the note. Who's behind that chord? Who's behind the way, the way that, that, that lyric comes out? Who's behind that drum? That human being is making you feel something or they're not and um I, i try to tap into always the spiritual and the vibrations part of of creating the power and just hand claps man i use hand claps and stomps and all my music and i think um you know it was laid down long before i came and all i have to do is we respect our ancestors they'll feed us respect our legacy it'll feed us respect where we came from, you can actually put money in your pocket because our cultures are just so rich. They're so rich. You understand what I'm saying? And they're so profound. That that's all that I really did as Fantastic Negrito. I just tapped into something. I'm like, oh, I came from this. Let me tap into it. I remember the day that I came up with the name. Like, you know what? I'm going to come up with Fantastic Negrito. I remember I was with some people that were marketing people. They're like, oh, no. They're like, no, you can't be called that. I'm like, why? And you know what they said? They said, well, white people, they don't they don't like saying the word Negrito. It makes them uncomfortable. And I said, it's perfect. I'm not here to, <laughs> to make people feel comfortable. It's not like my, is that my designated job at birth? Is that I make people feel comfortable? I'm like, if you don't know the word Negrito, that means you don't really talk to most of the people that live in this state which are our Latino brothers and sisters. You're not really, you don't really have Latino friends, do you? You know, so I grew up in neighborhoods with Salvadorans, Mexicans, Peruvians. So I heard that all the time in songs. Oh, Negrito, that, that, Negrita. And I was just like, okay, I hear that. I'm like, they don't sound angry. All good, you know? So just that there, I thought like, hey, if you're from California and you don't speak some Spanish, You ain't really from California. I mean, come on, give me something. Give me a Buenos Aires. Give me a Como Esta. Give me a Mucho Gusto. Give me something. Then I know that you're from California and you're talking to most of the people here because it's predominantly Latinos. And um, so that's why I came up with the name, but that's more culture. You understand? And it's a beautiful thing because Fantastic Negrito has nothing to do with me. It has to do with the music and where I come from. And every time I say Fantastic Negrito, I can explain that. And I can say Robert Johnson and Skip James in case people don't know who they are, they can Google them. That's all that that was all about was just, you're from something that's amazing, that's beautiful. And when you realize it, you become very powerful and you start to honor who you are. Because that's the first step in revolution. The first step in counterculture is you honoring your, who you are and self-love and self-care and check yourself. Because I, I, I wake up every day, I got to get past this dude every day. This dude first. And how am I treating people? And and what am I doing? You know what I mean? What am I doing? So I, I, I'm big on that. <laughs>